Welcome to the Royal Alliance UK podcast. This is part three of the Levi on UK breakdown tape of his uh, rookie games. We're currently looking at Washington versus Washington State here with my man Anthony Fitzpatrick. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good, thanks, Matt. I've got new internet in the house. I have no issues anymore, and I don't intend to have any more going forward. And it's absolutely lovely. Talking of internet issues, uh, mine obviously disrupted. The first two attempts we had at this, hence why this is part three, I am hoping that it's not going to be an issue going forward. It hasn't been for the last two days, and it normally is every day, but I haven't done anything differently, and they haven't fixed anything. So, fingers crossed that, that nothing happens, but no promises on that account, so apologies if that's an issue. Right, let's dive straight into this one. So, we've got this, and then we're going to go into another game as well, but... We are about two-thirds of the way through this video. Hi to Geometry Dash Madness on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, man. Okay, so 717. So this is second and two for Washington State. On Washington's, I've said eight, but it looks like nine-yard line. It's a short drop by the quarterback, quick swing pass left, and it is incomplete. For Levi, he is obviously uh, at the nose here, over the over the centre, and the ball's passed too quickly for him to make an impact on this one. And if I actually don't delete all of my workings on this, that'd be great. Here we go. So you can see that he kind of powers through the centre, actually, but the ball's away fairly quickly there. Right, next good one up third. Strength. Sorry? Good show of strength. Yeah, very good show of strength. Okay, next up. Third and three at the nine. Short drop and a quick pass right is caught but knocked incomplete in a tackle. Uh, Levi again at the nose. Beats the centre with a swim. He's held by the right guard and the centre. I've said definite foul here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, all day. A little bit naughty, that one. Both the centre and the guard are all over that. Yep. I'm going to slow that down, because this is a really nice little move. He's playing at one there, isn't he? He's not playing directly opposite the centre, which helps. It means he can fire into that gap. Just again, such a bemusing thing that he's played at zero so frequently when you can see the impact he has. It's almost like gap. he's playing at like a zero eye because he's not quite in the one gap, is he? But, but he's, he's not, not over the nose either. No, but he's just given himself that little bit of room to lever himself around the outside. Look how the center has to come across to try and grab him and he can't. I can't believe that no. wasn't called. It's a joke. Lovely technique with the swim swim move, though. Uh, questionable passing as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here, end of that. Um, end of that. Um, oh God, why have I forgotten all my words? Um, that's sectional play. Um, so drive. first, <laughs> drive. <laughs> Thank you. It's too early in the morning. First and 10 at their own 25 here for State. Uh, drop and dumps off far right, short pass. Um, Levi here at the nose again. Eventually wins against the C with effort. He's in the quarterback's face as he throws. Quarterback's just waiting for him to win so he gets rid of it, really. You can see his raw power there. You can, but again, it's just with him being up against such a large guy, it's it's time. You know, you need to be getting to the quarterback quicker than that, especially when you're making it up to NFL level. And he's just not got the opportunity to do so because of where they're playing him. Like you say, you can see his ability to get through the lines, but you need to utilize him better in a position where he can do it quicker. Yeah, that's very true. Very, very true. Okay, 
So 8 of 4. Second and 7 now on their 28. Drop. Quarterback escapes left. Throws incomplete. Left feet of the running back. Running back actually doesn't get his head around to actually look for it anyway. So he's just kind of throwing it to the ground. Uh, Levi's at the nose tackle. It's an eventual win against the double team. Center and right guard with a spin. He actually forces the quarterback to flash left. So effort through, double teamed, lovely spin, quarterback season, flushes left, and just throws it away. Good play, that. It's lovely to see. It is. He's, he's the disruptor of the two. And that's, that's just an example there of the disruption he causes in a line. Double Likes team. to go left on the snap. I don't know whether that's a regular thing, but you can see that spin move is lovely. Yeah. That's the thing. He doesn't have the raw power to just bull rush, so he has to go out. He'll have to go out left or right to get his success. Yeah. Probably why he does that so often. All right. Five more plays left. So first and 10 at their own 38. Drop. Quarterback drops back. Throws short over the middle complete. Levi's at the nose. He's doubled again by the center and the right guard. He eventually wins and forces the quarterback to shift in the pocket to the left, but doesn't flush him out. Actually handled like, quite well there. Yeah. It's just like with Aleem, he's double teamed a hell of a lot. He's the first player that they go to double team every time. Does it remind you a little bit of the Lions, this rushing three only all the time? Mm. And not providing any support for the line. Yeah, not blitzing and only rushing three. It's, I mean, it's horrible to watch, but kind of nice to see that he does get wins. Okay. That, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, let's see if this is right. Yeah. Okay. So, quarterback drops, passes short over the middle, complete again. Levi's actually lined up at two technique here over the left guards, goes all the way over to engage the right tackle, but there's no impact on the play here. It's a bit of a weird one, this. I don't get that. He ain't winning that battle in a month of Sundays. Look at the size of the right guard. I mean, you might but confuse the hell out of the offensive line, but you're not going to disrupt a play doing that. That's just weird play design. But how do you expect to get to the quarterback when you're having to run all the way around to the far end of the line, beat a tackle, and then try and get to him? Well, the problem is that you're not getting there quick enough in a straight line anyway. I mean... Exactly. So taking a detour around is not going to do any good either. No, definitely not. O-line's going to be like, I don't know what's happening here, but it's not working. So, <laughs> right. Three plays to go. Second and ten. Deep in the fourth. 18 points down. Uh, quarterback drops back. Short pass over the middle complete. Levi's at the nose. He's double teamed first by the center and right guard. Then the right guard and right tackle. No impact on this one either. So it's on that block, passes it off because the outside guy actually does get a win and gets to the course back. Ugh, it's... Yeah, I just do not get this whatsoever. See, now here he's lining at three. He's not yeah. even the nose. Uh, yeah, so three tech. Um, so third and five at the 15. Deep drop, scramble, escape right and extend the play. Hopefully chucks it into the end zone, but incomplete. Levi at the three tech, as you've said, he's doubled by the right guard and right tackle, gets his hands up to prevent a throwing lane. See, you can instantly see more of an impact then already, and it's only one play. He's disrupted that right hand side of the line. Those two have got their hands full with him, and the quarterback can't even get the pass off. I mean, could you imagine if you had some actual blitzers coming around there as well? Yeah. 
But I think it's a real shame that he came through the middle here, Levi, after it all broke down. Because if he kept on the outside to come through, he would have stopped the quarterback actually scrambling. Yeah. He might have had a sack. But hey. Right. Last play of the game. Well, for for the offense, uh, for the defense anyway. Fourth and five at the 15. Another deeper drop, scramble and extend, and a despairing throw in the end zone to no one. Incomplete. Levi again at three tech, engages the right tackle, then the right guard, beats him inside, spins and forces the flush left. There. That's what he's good at. That's how you want to be utilising him. At three tech, causing havoc on the ends of these lines and getting at the quarterback. That's what he does. Now that he's not got a big ass center trying to stop him. La oh, hang on a minute. I need to see that again. Right, so this is right at the end of the game, don't forget. So potentially tired on both the D and offensive line, but the effort is still here. Watch his use of hands to get clear of the right tackle. It's very good. And he just flat out gets through the two of them. But that's what happens when he has a gap to work with. He gets in there and levers his way through. That's that's it. what his game is predicated on. Yeah, it is. And it you is. Can, you can see in those two plays more, you know, good bits of his game than you have most of his game at nose tackle. All right. Winding up now for the game against Cal in Washington. And we'll start with an RPO run up the middle for a short gain. You can see Levi over, over the center here at nose tackle. Lovely sidestep right, penetrates through the left guard and makes a solo tackle. Maybe not solo tackle, maybe assisted tackle. I was tackle. about to say, that's that's definitely an assisted tackle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I really love the sidestep just to start off, by the way. I maybe I'll show that again because it's. I think that's quite nice. Just a quick area movement to get right into the left guard. Looks like the center had his eye on a guy on the right, anyhow. Yeah. All right. Second play. Quarterback drops, overthrows over the middle. Uh, foul pass intercepted is my No, I have no idea what I mean by that. We'll see. Um, nose tackle for Levi. Ball rushes, but it's handled by the center fine. Pass interference. That's what I meant. I'll read my own notes. Not not pie. <laughs> yeah, probably not catchable, but never mind. Um, quarterback design draw. Okay, so Cal, lots of quarterback draws in this game. Really weird. Um, he's okay at it, but I wouldn't say he's um, a world beater at this. So, yeah, design quarterback draw, run up the middle. He's hit hard in a 12-yard game. Levi at three tech here over the... In between the left guard, uh, right guard, and right tackle, um, engages the right guard, then tries to win around the edge. Ooh. So tries to win around the edge, but the quarterback's already gone, and then the quarterback gets popped in the lower leg. All right. Nice hit. Uh, quarterback drops back, scrambles right, runs out of bounds for a short game. Levi is at the two tech on the right hand side of the line, so over the left guard. Swims left, beats the left guard, and holds the ground, but the foul is not called. So a two yard gain. <laughs> Levi here. Good hands again. I'm pretty certain that's a foul. And that's holding, but never mind. Positive. He finds, he finds the gap, exploits it. 
that's all what he's about. Yeah. There's some very questionable calls here in terms of fouling these D linemen. Lots of them seemingly at college, but it does happen at the pros as well, right? Okay. Oh, uh, well, yeah, but they don't necessarily get given. Depends how big the check for the refs is. Yeah. Actually, I'm not going to do any annotations here because I'm talking about it as well. Okay. So, what do we have? We have RPO run outside right, no gain. Levi is at the 2i on the right, so just outside the left guard, um, but not quite at 3. Um, he pushes him back a little, but, but no more than that. Isn't I opposite? Is I inside, is it? I will mean no, it's inside. Opposite. It's opposite, I think. Okay. If I remember right. I don't think there's a designation for anything else, though, is there? Anyway, so trying to estimate what this technique is, I think it's six. I think he'd be outside. Yeah, th oh, maybe it's seven. I think yeah, that looks like seven, that does. Yeah. Okay, so first time we've seen him in this position, I think, at all. Calls back, drops back, tries to escape, but is sacked up the middle. Levi at the six technique causes havoc with the left tackle, left guard, and center. He manages to tie them all up. It's really hard to see what's going on, actually, with that. I might slow it down. Sure, I feel like it, the sack's from the left, isn't it? I think the sack is... They're overloaded, up, they're overloaded on that side. Sack by number 13? No, 55. Yeah. No, 13. Do, yeah. They double ta they double team that got a uh, tackle. It's just a nice play, right? Next one up. Pause back, quick drop, swing pass right for a short gain. Levi at the three technique on the left hand side this time. Pass is too quick for him to make an impact on this one. He's held up pretty well as well. One thing to note is that he actually gets out here, so that if the running back did bounce back inside, he was there to make the tackle. So that's something, you know, he keeps working to the ball. Yeah. Always certainly like to see. Okay, for this one, course back with a short drop, scrambles up the middle for a short gain. Levi at the nose tackle, rushes, he wins with a swim left and forces the scramble. This is really nice. Good play by the quarterback as well, in fairness. <laughs> he gets rushed by about four guys. Ooh. Okay, so next one. Quarterback short drop, swing pass right incomplete. Levi at the... I'm tempted to say this is six now, because I think there's a man outside him at the seven. Um... Six technique, ball rushes the left guard and rocks him back. Gets quite close to him. So close to making that stick. The raw power he has is, is unbelievable for a man of his size. Yeah. It's just his leverage. It's the leverage he gets on players. Might not be the biggest guy, but see, look, his hands there just gets on the inside and uses his momentum to keep him there. Thanks again. If you are watching us live on YouTube or a replay, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell buttons to let you know when we're going live. Really appreciate you doing that. All right. Next one. Quarterback short drop, screen pass right for a large gain. Levi's going to be at the three tech on the left hand side. Wins up the middle, but that's by design for the offensive line. He's in the quarterback's face when the ball is thrown. He's at the nose there, isn't he? We'll see you in a minute. Yeah, so at the three tech. So 
So I'm pretty sure that they've kind of blocked him to start with and then let him go here. Good pressure. Center him to get rid. Hmm? Forces, acute, forces the quarterback to get rid quickly. Good pressure. Yeah. Flag comes in late, so probably negates some of the play. No, it, uh, actually, sorry, 15 yards in their favor, my bad. Okay. And the next one. RPO run up the middle for a nice gain. Levi at the nose tackle. Double by the centre and the left guard. He tries to spin but loses sight of the ball. This is something we saw in the last game, I think, in a, one of the earlier parts. I can't remember which one it was, but it's something Levi likes to do. He likes, if he doesn't have any impact on a play, to try the spin move. But in a running situation, he often loses sight of the ball carrier when he does it. He'd be better just holding his gap integrity in that situation and trying just to make a tackle. Here we go. So the ball carrier is actually behind him when he spins. Yeah. It's it's bad technique. I get that he's trying something, but if he just stays where he is, tries to block some holes. So here, he's obviously got two men on him. He stays where he is. He's got the linebacker. 53 manning that a gap and 43 manning the gap to the left hand side of him but let's try and annotate this so we've got this guy and this guy manning here and here levi should be trying to take here allowing 43 to take here but by spinning he vacates that and allows the running back to actually come in here but you've got the tight end coming across to block in that gap. Yeah. So so Levi's the only one. Looking. Yeah, but you see, he's seeing this blocker coming in, so he's spinning out the other way. Maybe, but I mean, the thing is, if that blocker actually succeeds in, for, in blocking the linebacker at 43, if I was a running back, I'd be thinking of coming in here. Levi needs to try as much as possible to get out that way. I don't know. I don't know, he's getting double teamed and there's a third guy coming across. I, I can understand him trying to roll out of that one. Oh, God, that jogged a lot. Sorry, hang on. Here we go. I'm not a fan of that at all. I think that's something that they'll see on his tape and work on. Okay. Three-minute mark. So, RPO with a quarterback run for a 15-yard game. Levi at the three-tech, double by the right guard, right tackle. I've said held question mark. So, let's look for some offensive holding here. No. I don't think so. Have a look again. It lingers a bit. You get away with a bit. Yeah, I, I don't think that's the most grievous. I don't think it's affecting him from affecting the play. And I know it just it lingers just a tiny bit more than I'd like. Yeah, but he, he's some, pulling... of the, some of these hold calls I've seen not given. This one's quite tame. Yeah, Incredible. I agree. I still think it's a foul. I think it's like, once he's coming off the block, you have to let him go. If he's trying to engage and go through, then fair enough. But Well, for the lineman, that'll get called in the NFL, so he needs to pack that in. Yeah, right. 319. Quarterbacks under centre, I think, for the first time in either game. It's so rare that I, I made a note of that. Runs up. Uh, it's a run up the middle for a tackle for loss. Levi's at the nose tackle, beats the centre with a swim right for a tackle. So he holds him up for 55 to make the tackle. That's very well done. Sheds his blocker, makes a tackle. That's all you need to see. Perfect. 
perfect in comparison to what I was saying before. And even that wasn't really a big mistake. It's just something I don't like. But that was absolutely textbook. Right. Quarterback draw on this one for no gain. Uh, Levi at the three technique. Beats the right guard. Swims right but straight into the center's path. Maybe not. Let's see that again. No, nope, that's not what happened at all. Just didn't work. He runs into his own player. <laughs> yeah, he went left. Got back, went right. Mm -hmm. Right. Pulls back short drop. Scrambles left for a five yard gain. A lot of these plays are ending up with the quarterback running the ball. Um, Levi again at the three tech. Uh, drags the right guard down, but the centre blocks him. I don't know whether it's because the cow uniforms remind me of the Rams uniforms, but I really feel like the horse back looks like goth. I don't know whether it's just me. I like the cow uniforms. I like the cow uniforms, yeah. But All I right. Do like, I do like white sports shirts, so. Okay, quarterback, short drop, quick throw short to the left for an 11 yard gain. Levi at the nose tackle beats the right guard on the outside, but quick pass stops him having any more impact on the play. It's a nice win, though. again he's having to go right round the edge and he just doesn't have a chance to get to the quarterback yeah start him on the edge okay rpo runs up the middle for a short gain at the two technique here doubled by the center and the i'm pretty sure i mean right guard here center and right guard makes no impact on the play Run went the other way. Okay, another RPO. Run outside left for a short gain. At the nose tackle, Levi gets manhandled a little and driven back by the centre and right guard. And actually where he is is where the runner goes. Kind of loses his balance a little bit on his tiptoes. Yeah. Yeah. Just two bodies are bigger than one. What can you do? Um, with this next one, RPO again, run again, outside left, cut inside for a healthy gain. Levi at the nose, he full rushes and pushes the centre back, but no real impact on the play. Really does get a good shove on. Maybe he forces yeah. the bounce out. He gets under the pads, which is good to see. Gets under the pads and forces him back. All right. With this next one, we've got a quarterback design run in an empty set for short game. Levi at the nose tackle, he appears to drop into coverage for the first time and then recovers to try and make the tackle when he sees the uh, quarterback. Run, here we go. So he drops and then sees the quarterback run and comes back. Doesn't quite get there. but I wonder who he's dropping into coverage for, though, because there's no one to cover there. It's... He doesn't look sure of what he does there. Because all the receivers are lined out wide. So I imagine, in this sort of scenario, what's the play design? If it's an empty set, you need to be able to get the ball out quickly. So you might have two or three of these guys crossing over with maybe the outside. So the outside guy is probably running a seam. Maybe you've got some sort of like crossing route and then maybe that. So with Levi dropping into this sort of area, you can let the linebackers take these guys on in man. 
he always kind of spying the course back. I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, because... It's weird, because they said the linebackers are there in coverage, though. I, it's, it's just how slowly he does it. it he's, it's no urgency to get just sort of trundles back there a little, moves a little out left, and then it's like, oh, crap, I've got to make a play. See, look. And it allows that tackle to just to get a bit of a run on him as well. See what I mean? Because he's looking at the right tackle when he moves that. He's not dropping into coverage. He's, his eyes are firmly on that tackle. I think that he kind of feigns the rush to hold the O-line's eyes, maybe trying to buy his edge players a bit of time. I don't know. No, it's an odd one. It's an odd one. But notable, therefore. Um, okay, here we go. Short drop by the quarterback. Quick pass short to the left. 12-yard gain. Levi at the two technique. Attempt to swing right, but into the centre from right guard. Got nothing more to say on that, really. Oh, it's just double teams and held up. There's not a lot you can do about it. No. Right, a short drop by the quarterback, scrambles right and throws the ball away. Levi at the two technique once again, handled well by the center with a nudge from the guard. Again, delete my own notes. Here we go. Quarterback escapes, throws away. He gets pushed back there as well. He just flat out loses in the strength battle here. I think the shove from the guard really helps, though. Okay, okay. That's the trouble if it's just taking a small touch from the guard to stop him. Yeah, I mean, he's not a big, he's not a Vita Bayer, is he? <laughs> no, he's not. And that's why he needs to, they say, be out wide to allow him the one on ones, yeah. not the two on ones. Agree. Okay, short drop by the course back, quick pass, deep left, incomplete. Uh, Levi at the two technique, rushes the right guard, swims right and wins. He's in quarterback's face when he throws. It's not far away. Swims in, wins. He's about a half a second behind. I'd like to see this, though. Just flat out beats him. He does. I think that he'll benefit from actually having a better secondary, and I know that Detroit don't exactly have the best secondary. I'm hoping that it'll be better this year than it was last year, but it's clear that Washington's corners and safeties and linebackers aren't doing the upfront three many favors either so well i'm going you've you've got our darius washington and what's his face at safety you've got probably the best safety pairing in the ncaa okay maybe not safeties then but the corners do you remember four of these guys got drafted on defense mm. yeah i don't know right anyway so this next one is an RPO run inside right for 25 yards. Uh, Levi at the nose tackle is uh, held up in a clench, tries to spin, again loses sight of the running back. Second instance of this in this game. I don't know if he loses sight there. He spins and stops when he sees him. Look, he spins... Mm. Sees the guy. He's gone, isn't he? I don't think he loses track. I just think the gap's there and he's gone. But again, when you're getting double team, you have to do something. You can't just bull rush him straight. You've got to try and switch out or something. 
you know, he doesn't have the size to be able to just disconnect like McNeil does. You saw that so many times he was able to disengage from those double blocks, but I mean, he's 320 odd pounds, an extra 40 than what Levi is. Mm. Yeah. Once you get clutched in a double team here, it's very hard just to, to get out of it. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. Okay, so short drop by the quarterback from here. He escapes the sack with a scramble to the left and slides for a short gain. Levi is at the two technique on the right-hand side of the line. Blitz is inside. Um, there's a blitz run inside. He spins inside with a win against the, I said right guard. I'm sure, I must mean left guard. Um, and the quarterback escapes. That's a lovely spin. Oh, it's a good block as well. Good reaction by the right guard to yeah, have just shut that lane, shut that lane down. Still a nice spin though. Oh, it's lovely. That's what I mean. It's just because he's done that, the right guards had to come across. That's three linemen that he's got sort of bought up. If you've got some blitz pressure coming from the outside there, I mean, there is a little bit, but blocks are just good all round. One, two, three guys on him. If you've got better players as well, then he's not going to command that much attention. Yeah. Right. RPO run up the middle for a short gain. Levi hit a one technique. Falls over the right guard diving at his feet. I'm not sure what you can do about that, really. Not one of those low tackles. That's why they do them, because you just wrap them up and you just can't get out of it. You can't move. Yeah. Right. Quarterback drops short, uh, with a short drop. Passes short left for a small gain. Levi at the nose tackle. Gets double teamed by the centre and the left guard. Spins right, but the pass is out before he can win. In fact, I don't think he was under any threat of winning that rap. The spin seems to be like his gut. It spins or swims, and that yeah. seems to be his two moves. But you see the guard there. He just uses the momentum just to gently lever him out wide. He doesn't need to put that much effort. That's unfortunately when you spin, you lose your momentum a bit. It makes yeah. it easier for the lineman to, to contain you if you don't completely separate. That's what made his um the spin move that he did a couple of plays ago, which was by design up front and he hadn't been engaged yet. He managed to spin with momentum and he beat the man because he was able to carry it through. But if you're spinning as a reaction to being helped, you've yeah. got nothing. So Exactly. All right. RPO run outside right for a small gain. Um, the wrong player was actually highlighted in this play by the makers of this video. Uh, he's actually at the nose tackle here and throws the centre over. Centre or left guard? Guard he throws over. Yeah. Good though. It is. Right, quarterback short drop, scramble right, dumps off for a small gain. Levi two technique on the right hand side of the line. Spins out of the right guard straight into the right tackle. No, sorry, left guard into the left tackle, even. Again, spins, but tackle, all he has to do is hold him up as he's going round. It's not difficult to defend against. You know, the spin needs to be left for, you know, when they're not expecting it. The thing is, some college tackles and guards won't know how to deal with it but the nfl that's going to get eaten up all day of course of course it is you can see here it's not the most effective in the world especially that's like about five examples we've seen now <laughs> and i mean correct me if i'm wrong but cow hasn't been particularly relevant for some time right what sorry 
Cal hasn't been relevant as a college team for some time. Not necessarily, no. They're not the greatest team in the world ever. No. Okay. So this isn't the best quality opposition you're going up against. But it is the video I had available. Um, <laughs> short drop by the quarterback, quick throw, left incomplete. Uh, Levi at the two technique on the right-hand side, highlighted already. Ball rush into double C, uh, center and right guard. The pass is out too fast anyway. At the centre, left guard and right guard looking at him in that see, play. That's by, see, that's by design. I don't know why he's not at the nose there because they do that by design to let the nose go around the edge and get the quarterback. But Levi's better at doing that. I mean, look at 43. He's the guy who gets around the outside. That's where Levi would be best at. That's what he does. I don't know why he's going in and bull rushing into double coverage. That's just not his game. No. Okay. It's an interesting game to watch this just because of how much quarterback draw and, and scramble there is. Mm. So how he reacts to that. Because obviously against teams like Arizona that we're going to be facing this year, that's a big part of that offense. So, okay. And La it's a, a far superior quarterback. Indeed. Five plays left, so short drop by the quarterback, scrambles left for a short game, Levi's at the nose tackle, double by the center and left guard, spin win around the left tackle, chases the scrambling quarterback, but he can't catch up. Like quarterback can shift. Yeah, he's he's a bit shifty, isn't he? Okay, four to go. So short drop by the quarterback, quick swing pass left for nine yards. Levi at the one te technique on the left hand side, double by the center and the right guard, no impact of a play. And now an RPO run up the middle for two yards and the first down late in the game. Levi's at the nose tackle. Oh, I should mention, by the way, so this is, I think this is second and two, very late with Cal up by one deep in the fourth. So they're desperate to make a stop here. Uh, RPO run up the middle for two yards and a first down. Levi's at the nose. He ball rushes the right guard, anchors well, but manages to make the tackle, unfortunately, not quick enough. good technique yeah engage disengage get to your assignment uh, this really kills the game off here short drop at the course back quick throw middle left complete for 15 yards leave out the left uh, three tap technique on the left hand side of the line feigns the right guard then goes around the edge but the ball's out quickly Or coverage that. And then I'm not quite sure how they got down to the two or three yard line, but Levi must have been off the field. Uh, this is an RPO run up the middle tackle for a loss. Uh, Levi's on the one technique on the right hand side of the line, I think. Let me wind it back a second to see if he's highlighted. There he is. Uh, he holds up the left guard well in run defence here. It's a good two gapping technique. Yep. Kind of stopping any passing lane develop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, that is our review of, of Levi in terms of the tape. 
I don't know if you remember back to last week and also what we just talked about now, but what what sticks out for you? And he's not a nose tackle, and we absolutely shouldn't use him as a nose tackle. I mean, you can see the penetrative ability he's got getting in between the gaps, causing the disruption on the lines, and that's absolutely where you need to utilise him. Yeah, that's for me. It, it's really clear where he's best at. I think, again, he's another really good guy. He's just someone we've not really had. You know, we've seen our defensive line struggling for ages to make any penetration in offensive lines whatsoever. And this is a guy who's going to change that, especially now he's got a lot of help with him, a lot of good top quality help at the edge, at nose, with Brockers, etc. And, I mean, Brockers is going to be a perfect guy for him to learn off. Probably one of the most experienced guys in the league, playing next to the best defensive lineman in football for the last six years. So, we have to teach him a lot of technique. We have to mentor him. I think it's going to be a really good fit. I think he's in a good position now. Obviously, I'd just like to see him. I'd say put further out wide and for us to use blitzers with him, because then they just can't focus so much attention on him. What holds him back in those videos is just the double teams, the triple teams. It's just there's a lot of focus on him compared to the other guys and yet he still wins quite often you still see the ability he has imagine if you get him in one-on-ones on the outside edge you know he's going to have a field day especially if he's getting backed up you've got Romeo Quara out there you've got Flowers possibly playing outside linebacker blitzing around these guys are going to command attention and they're going to need dealing with yeah it's going to create and, a lot of one-on-ones for Levi I have a thought exactly and if Aleem's playing at nose, then he's automatically going to be getting double tackled. So there's going to be gaps there for him at three and five. If a guard and a, if a guard and a centre are having to deal with Aleem ball rushing through the middle, then there's got to be loads of space for him to get through. Just got to highlight as well that what we've seen in, in both the Washington State games and the Cal games are not pro-style offences. There's a lot of quick passes, swing passes, quarterback draws... RPOs, and you know, there are some RPO-based teams, but otherwise, Levi's not going to really see this sort of thing where I said, you know, this happens, but the pass is out too quickly for him to have an impact on the play. It doesn't happen very much. You've got Arizona basically running their version of air raids, which kind of looks like some of that, but Levi's going to get more time to impact the plays here, so when we've said that he hasn't managed to get there in time, I think you'll have more opportunity at the pros to actually hit the stat sheet. Exactly. And we just have a, such a varied assortment of players now on these lines. I mean, it's not like, you know, we've gone for defensive linemen a couple of times, but we've got two completely different guys. You know, we've got the disruptor in Levi and we've got the pure power guy in Aleem. They both bring a little something to the table and both are going to need a lot of attention because they're going to, they're going to have an effect. Yeah. And putting them with the experience we've got there as well, it's just, it, I think we can expect really good things. I think I would expect to see the development of something really good this year anyhow. Yeah. Like these tapes, we'll see, you know, maybe a lot of times when they don't really get something, but you'll see, you know, the basics there. You'll see the formation of something good. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing the pair of them. I am too. One thing I do what like about Levi that he has got down, I know he's only got two pass rush techniques. He, his ball rush isn't particularly good, but his spin he likes to utilize a lot. But his swim move consistently gets wins. And hopefully with a little bit more strength, a bit more time in the weight room and a bit better hand placement. And the hand placement is good anyway. That actually that's something which I think is going to consistently win at the NFL level. I don't see that having any less success. I think you've seen little bits of everything there. I mean, you've seen him get under the pads, which is critical. You know, he get under the pads so you get your leverage, so you get through. You've seen him be able to swim through. You've, he can do everything you need him to. It just, like I said, with every college player, it just needs refinement when moving into the NFL. But the main thing there is you can see all the basic tools you need, the speed, the disruption, you know, the ability to get after the quarterback. I mean, it would have been nice to see some sacks in there, but... It, it, those those probably not the best tapes in the world to be able to use because he's primarily a nose and as you've seen there he ain't a nose tackle but thankfully we ain't going to be utilizing him like that here because we've actually got one yeah i can see him being used there it'll being pushed inside to nose on obvious passing downs but that's the only time i think he'll actually end up there 
But you know, and the one thing he's got over Aleem though is you can use him in a three or a four base. So he's gonna have his uses in all our schemes. So, you know, that versatility there is again something you want while on the line where he plays. You know, he he can play pretty much all across that line. So Yeah. You, yeah, you would expect to see a lot of him. Yeah, you could see him at zero or at wide nine and everywhere in between you can do it. Yeah, pr pretty much. And like you say, depending on your package, you know, every package accommodates him. So you, you've just got a guy who you can use on any snap, basically, if you need to. Whereas I think Halim might struggle a little bit more with that. Yeah. Although I expect to see more from him immediately. I think he's got more of a complete game about him, even though he was taken around later. Okay. Any any final words before we clock off this one? Uh -huh. Not particularly. I think we're all very much looking forward to seeing this new revamped D line. It's it's been a long time since we've had a good one, so and I think in told we've got two really good players. Like I said, they each bring a unique skill set to the table. And if they're mentored correctly, which they should be with the young upcoming coaches they've got, we're gonna get two really good players out of this. I mean, I both foresee them been here in five years. You know, the thing we've said recently with draft classes is our rookies don't make it to their pro deals, whereas these two I fully expect them to be here and a valuable part of the team in five years' time, which is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's something that we've missed. Uh, hi to Altonio, who's just joined us. Please have a look at this and, uh, and the last two videos that we did on Levi. We will be back at 6 p.m. UK time, 1 p.m. Eastern, for our review of Penne Soul going into a couple of his college tapes i've actually got a little bit more reviewing of that to do before we hit that but until then we'll see you next time let's go lions one pride one pride <laughs>